In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the area using the trapezoidal rule. To find the area using the trapezoidal rule, you'll have to use one of these two formulas. Notice the difference. This is the rule for unequal spacing, and this is the rule for equal spacing. An example of unequal spacing, when you would use this formula, is if you have points that are not equally spaced along the horizontal axis. Whereas in our example, in question number one, they ask us to find the area under the graph of the function given by the following table of ordered pairs. Take a look at our points. We have points ranging from zero all the way to 10 and they're equally spaced. So in this particular example, we'll be using this formula. And also keep in mind that the area that we find is just an approximate. It is not an exact area. So to use this formula, you have to read it carefully. It says that we have to find y0, which is the y-coordinate of your first observation, and we add it to the last observation. And our n value here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. n is equal to 11. So we'll take the last observation, y is equal to 11, which is 84, and add it to 4. So we have 84 plus 4 gives us 88. So that takes care of this part, and we'll be multiplying this by 1 over 2. In other words, we'll be dividing it by 2, and we end up with 44. Next, we have to add up all the y outputs from y1 all the way to y subscript n minus 1, so the second last observation that we found. So I'll be adding 3 all the way to 67. So let's go ahead and turn on our calculator and apply these numbers. We have 3 plus 4 plus 7 plus 12, 19, 28, 39, 52, 67, and we stop right there. That gives us 231. So this is 231. That's the sum. So let's reread this. We have this value, which represents this plus 231, so 44 plus 231, and that's all in brackets. H represents x1 minus x0. So our x1 is 1, and our x0 is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. So multiplying this by 1, we end up with 275 as our approximate area in units squared. As a check, we note that the points given are actually points on the curve y is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 4. Now here's the interesting part. We're going to actually compare the actual area versus the approximate area that we found. And what we will do is take the integral of this function between 0 and 10. The antiderivative of this first term is x to the power of 3 over 3. The antiderivative of this term is minus x squared, and the antiderivative of this term is plus 4x. And I'll evaluate this at the upper and lower bound. Evaluating this at the lower bound gives us 0, so I won't worry about this. Although we still have to find out what it is at 10. We have 10 to the power of 3 is 1,000, 1,000 divided by 3, minus 10 to the power of 2, which is 100, plus 4 times 10, that's 40. Using our calculator, you should end up with 273 and a third, which is quite close to what we came up with using the trapezoidal method. Let's move on to question two. This time they want us to evaluate the integral taking points spaced one unit apart. What we have to do is make a table of point pairs for the function. And if you do that, you should end up with something that looks like this, where you have x, y, ranging from 0 to 10, and outputs that look like this. Now that I've created my table, I'll use the exact same formula as before. These are equally spaced, so I'll use this formula, where I'll take the last point, which is 12, my last y output, add it to my first one, 2, 12 and 2, and then divide that by 2, then add all numbers between y1 and y10, from here to here.
which should give you 46.5. So this plus 46.5. And to find my h, I will subtract 1 with 0, which is 1. And the area will be defined by this expression. So let's go ahead and use our calculator for this. We have 12.2 divided by 2 plus 46.5 and that gives us 53, 53 and a half. Now as an exercise for you, you could actually go ahead and figure out the area without this method and see how it compares to 53.5 units squared. And so there you have it. Two examples on how to find the area using the trapezoidal rule.